The Todd Shapiro Show, Canada Laughs, Sirius XM 168. Uh, anyway, it's not about me. It's about Adam. So, uh, hey, listen, what's uh, what's going on in the, in the world of canopy growth and in the world of uh, obviously medical marijuana as we get closer to the legalization of marijuana? Uh, what what what's some news to report on this week, sir? Well, yeah, the weed in the weed world this week, uh, we're like hot off the hot on the heels of uh, British Columbia's announcement for uh, legalization. So uh, they've officially announced their plans. Um, it looks like it's going to be a, a hybrid system that includes a bit of public and a bit of private. So you're going to see um, some government-run stores, and you're also going to see some private stores. Um, you're going to see a lot of the dispensaries that are already out there uh, operating have a chance to sort of throw their throw their hats in the ring um, to uh, to transition over into the legal system. And uh, yeah, that's that's the big news this week. BC. BC is getting weed right. Are you are you guys are you happy with that decision? I, I, I mean, is that something that you look at going? You know, that's a, it's sort of maybe a neat approach where the government's not taking all of it, like here in Ontario, Ontario, from what I understand, which will sort of be the LCBO model. Is that? I mean, is that something you think's a nice compromise for people? Yeah, I think it's I think it's really sweet. It's one of the it's probably one of the best um, the best visions we've we've seen, best systems we've seen so far. I mean, they uh, in BC they seem pretty down with uh helping you know current cannabis entrepreneurs get their share of the market um mm-hmm. and to be able to participate in um in the in the retail environment which is really exciting and uh and yeah it's 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 really good it's going to set a, an interesting example for other provinces who may be taking a, a stricter approach like quebec where i live <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, and out in BC, there does Canopy have some sort of a, like affiliates or, or or companies that you've acquired and work with out there? Like what? Do you, do you yeah, have some? So yeah. We, yes. So we have a, uh, a joint venture, pun intended, with. Uh, with <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. That's why he's a wizard. I feel, yeah, I feel like he's used oh, that one before. Well. <laughs> 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 so yeah, we got this joint venture, um, and that means uh, three million square feet of greenhouse space um, spread between Delta BC and Alder Grove BC, um, and we're getting really excited about uh, about bringing that online and starting to grow it there. So yeah, we have we definitely have the production capacity, and the next step is going to be see how we is actually going to see how we build out our retail capacity out there because as a as a private entity, we will have um, an opportunity to to sell to participate in the retail space but um they're trying to um block vertical integration in bc such that if we open a tweed store as the current under the current proposal we would be able to sell anything but tweed product uh so there's there's some interesting uh Interesting particularities to the BC situation, which we'll see uh, how they evolve, but it's, it's looking really good. That, I mean, that, that, that seems so kind of interesting to me. I mean, Tweed Main Street's obviously like, you know, proven, uh, you know, especially right now in the, in the medical field on how it can get and distribute marijuana. And I know because I'm on it. I'm a patient of Tweed Main Street uh, and I love the CBD. And and yet, so if you opened like a, like an actual physical storefront store, they wouldn't allow you to have your own product in it? Yeah, yeah. As as, as the proposal stands now, we would be able to sell only products from from other producers. Which I I feel like at best it's like a call from the government for like pure solidarity in the industry. It's mm-hmm. like, are you sure you want your own store? Like, <laughs> you know. Uh, so but so yeah, it, we'll, and, we'll, see, we'll see how that plays out. But imagine being a micro. Imagine being a craft brewer. And the government being like, you cannot sell your own beer from your craft. Yeah, craft that's ex- exactly. literally, that was what I was thinking. And, and you know, the other part of it is if if that is sort of what they want to do and how they want to progress, um, it, it's counterproductive on a business sense for, for both sides. One being you would have a markup on other people's products to help pay for your lease and your staffing and things where it's of your own product, your markup would be a little bit less. And this is the whole new thing they're trying to figure out right now is what should a gram be, right? Is that, is that the big thing, Adam? Like, what should we be selling like a gram at? Is that kind of what everyone's trying to figure out right now? There's a, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of talk around pricing. Um, I'd say there's, I think there's almost an overemphasis on the importance of pricing. I mean, like it, it's, it's very true that we need to get, the price to be competitive with what it's at currently on the you know on the on the black market but um but you know uh it's it's difficult to see how you could like 
to what extent you could artificially control that through regulation. You know, I think I think it's really just incumbent on the government to set up a system where as many people can compete and bring as much quality product and really begin to, to compete on quality um, and just see what happens to the price naturally. I mean, if we look in other states like that legalize, like the, the price of weed naturally kind of falls a few, you know, after a certain amount of time once legalization is implemented. Well, you know? I mean, and, and listen, I, I and I'm actually being very honest when I say this. I've never bought weed on the street. Like when you know, I, I really haven't, and 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 I'm not a big consumer, as everyone knows. Uh, and if I did in the day, it was always like my buddy stuff, right? Like I just you know brought it over to the cottage or whatever. And and but I saw a report, and I was going on the Twitter machine, and they were saying on average in Canada a gram was seven bucks. And then I read yeah. all the replies, and everyone's like, that is the biggest BS in the world. Like, you <laughs> cannot get a gram for $7 anywhere. Is that, and, that, and that's just what I well, saw on like Twitter. An it's an aggregate price. Like, it's an average price. Like, I think it's actually, it's not, it's not that far off. Like, on average, okay. people pay 7 or 8 bucks a gram, you know? Like, when you're buying it by the ounce, if you're buying an ounce for, for $210, for 200 to $240, that's around 7 8 bucks a gram, you know? Um, but if you're buying it per gram at the retail scale, I mean, I've seen dispensaries and other other places charge up up to like fourteen, fifteen dollars a gram. Um, so you know, there's a, there's an average being made there for sure. But I'd say you know, in Quebec, for example, we have the cheapest weed. Um, you know, people are paying the least for for weed in, in Quebec, and that's I think because a lot of people buy in bulk. Um, there's a lot of people who buy quarter pounds and half pounds and save money that way. Um, perhaps more so than in other. Uh, jurisdiction. Yeah, but, Costco weed. No. Let's do it. Right? Let's, get in, let's get in bulk. I, don't, I think that's too much English for Quebec, though. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But I think in the, I think in the future, the you know the what's really going to be the the differentiator for the legal market is quality, right? Like, of course, you don't mm -hmm. have you don't have like quantified quality metrics on the illicit market. You're only going to have that quality guarantee on the on the legal side, and I think that more importantly than price is what's going to drive people. A million percent. You know what you're going to get. You know the yep. consistency. You know you know the dosage if it's in a pill form. I mean, it's it's just measured. It's 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 not it's not like made in a bathtub. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I've made some pretty good hash in a bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> in the defense of the bathtub. Yeah, I was holding back. I thought this guy did know how to do that. You know what I mean? I was like, I bet any money Todd, he spoke too soon. I know I, I know I was gonna hold back too. That's amazing. <laughs> that's why you're the wizard, buddy. Yeah. Um, that's right. <laughs> Adam Greenblatt joins us at Adam underscore Greenblatt. Uh, he works over at uh, their Tweed Main Street or Canopy Growth, I guess the parent company. Now, uh, Adam, um, what's the deal? Uh, it seems like a weekly question. Do we do we know when legalization will happen? Is is this being delayed? Yeah, you know, like around July. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give or take, give or take. I think there's been a lot of um, there's been a lot of sort of sensationalism and and maybe inaccurate reporting on just how you know heavily July one was promised as a date. Mm -hmm. If you think through just the legislative process, like I'm pretty sure Parliament stops sitting somewhere around the end of June. So I imagine mm -hmm. I have to imagine that the legislation will have to be in place before then. And then there's going to be a certain amount of time for just all of these various provinces to get their stores open and, and shelves stocked. And, you know, those deals are happening right now. But, um, you know, in, an, in or around July has always been the, the goal. Um, I, I personally would be OK with it being July 10th because that's uh, that's uh, another, uh, you know, stoner holiday. That's like the other 420, 710. <laughs> oh, like I didn't know what's. Yeah, man, seven ten is the oil holiday. You flip seven ten, or you know, upside down and spell the oil. This is like okay. a whole new numerology in the weed world. You know, so if it gets delayed to July tenth, I'm okay with it just on just for humor's sake. <laughs> oh, I see it. I just did it. I yeah, see it. Did I, did you? All, yeah. I did it on my, I did it on my calculator. Oh, he's a fact checker. I like that. He's like, no, uh, we got to look into Oil. this. Yeah. I see it. I of see course. it. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> Sounds like I'd be an Alberta holiday, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Jeez. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's got stoner laugh, too. Oh, he is a wizard. Good. You're for yeah, real. Uh, that's like in the day when you did uh, boobs on your calculator. Yeah, I yeah. know. I know. <laughs>
That, that's when they legalize prostitution one day. Okay. Yeah, someone created a holiday out of a calculator. That's hilarious, <laughs> right? Yeah, maybe, there, maybe in a in a in a near future there will be like a boycott of Alberta weed because they, you know, maybe Saskatchewan will boycott Alberta weed because they want to run a hash oil pipeline. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> that is pretty. And you're from Saskatchewan, right? That's Mike where I'm from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, would we need something interesting? You know, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. They won't take Alberta wine. <laughs> what? Because, did you hear about this? No, I didn't. They they won't take Alberta wine because they're because they BC don't want wine. BC wine. BC they won't take BC wine. My apologies. Okay. Um, through through Saskatchewan, right? Why? Through Be- Alberta. It's Alberta. Th- is sorry, through Alberta. Yeah, yeah. I'm like getting all my. I'm getting everything wrong. <laughs> Thanks for correcting me. I wish this fact was on a calculator because then you'd get it. You know what I mean? You'd be on top of this. I can only read it upside down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Adam, yeah. Adam, why don't you tell us a little? I know it. It's 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 it's. But why don't you tell us? Oh 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 sure. I mean that's um, <laughs> from my understanding. From my understanding is yeah. that uh, something to do with uh, with a pipeline. Alberta is upset with BC over their unwillingness to build a an oil pipeline, and uh, they have they knee jerk. Sort of like uh, called for a boycott BC wine. They're calling on Albertans to, or no, they actually directed the Alberta Liquor and Gaming uh, Commission to not purchase wine from BC in retaliation. And well, I mean, hilarity ensued afterwards. I mean, it's uh, you know. Meanwhile, Saskatchewan people that's, still that's... drunk. Yeah, it didn't hurt them at all. <laughs> they didn't need it. <laughs> they got to the desired uh, effect. Well, maybe that'll start being. Uh, maybe maybe they'll be higher, more high than drunk uh, in the next few years. Oh, they need it too, for sure. <laughs> and but listen, let's we got let's just say this responsibly, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, listen, Adam, dude, this is uh, a great informative update as always, and uh, we we appreciate your time. Are you gonna are you gonna get down to Toronto anytime soon so we can get you in studio? Yeah, buddy, I might be out there next week. Let's uh, let's let's figure it out. It'd be great. It'd be great to see in person. Hey, have you have, did, did you guys ever do that tour for the senators in in not the Ottawa senators, actual senators in in the Smith Falls uh, facility? Do you know if that's happened? That has not yet happened. That has not yet happened. But we are proud that uh, that um, our Smith Falls facility acts as a as a kind of diplomatic hub for the cannabis industry in Canada for a number of different stakeholders who've come through and, uh, and checked out what's going on. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing uh, uh, hearing how that went, to be honest. I think that, that's kind of like, you know, to me, that's what makes it real. You know, yeah. when these guys are now going through and going, whoa, wait a second, this facility is pretty <laughs> awesome and pretty legit. So not pretty, yeah. real legit. Uh, thanks, dude. That's great. Yeah, Wiz. Thanks for having me. Oh, Good no guy. problem, man. Enjoy Cheers. your weekend. Good guy. Yeah, killer. I don't agree, but... The Todd Shapiro Show. Canada laughs. Sirius XM 168.